this is how to make the Marcel Galliard Jaw Titan from Attack on Titan Season 4. Now, this is based on a design that was done by Nav9. So, thank you for, to Nav9 for coming up with the original. And right here, we've got a design that I made, and I'm going to show you how to make this step by step. All right, let's get into it now. For those interested in building this in survival, here's all the stuff you'll need. Down here in the bottom right, we have two invisible glow item frames, as well as a pig step, which is going to go in the item frames. And then two iron trap doors that are going to be powered uh, using commands, or world edit in this case. So if you don't have any access to that, then don't worry about these. But everything else should be fine in vanilla. Here's some additional information about the design and then that'll come in handy later. Now let's get started. So I'm going to start with the front uh, feet or hands, kind of depends on what you would call these. And since there's going to be uh, an iron trapdoor that's powered here, I don't actually need to use world edit for this, I can actually power it if I break down there and use a redstone torch like that and then I put back a block it will be powered as long if I break this it'll stop because you need a block to carry the signal uh, so let me go ahead and do that also and then there you go they should be powered and you can't even see the block below it uh, so that's good and then one, two, three blocks from this. I'm gonna place an iron trapdoor. Stairs like that. And then with two blocks in between and shifted back by one block, you can have that. All right, now there's gonna be some stairs like that. Temporary blocks to get that in the right. Uh, position wall on the back stairs and then slab same thing right here that is what it looks like these are not going to be the same so don't worry about making this and this arm the same now they're going to start coming together in the middle this is going to be like the knee and what I'm building right now is like the top of the leg some white terracotta and then some slabs here on the bottom and then wall on the back a whole lot of white terracotta right there some birch detail stuff whoops all right that's most of the body done and now this is going to be like the beard it's going to be spruce because his hair is brown. Moving up. Wall, stair, and then some oak wood for the hair. It's got sort of this line texture that looks like hair, kind of. Quartz for the face. And then we're going to be using a certain design for the, the sign. If you can just look at this and copy that, then that's fine, but I'm going to go through how to do this right now. You So you start on the top line with backslash, and then copy and paste a certain character called a macron or an overline, overscore, something like that. If you don't know how to get that, I will paste it in the description so you can copy that. And then uh, pasting does work on signs, so you can do that. 
if you are on console. Um, sorry, but I don't know how how to do that. So you can just use a dash instead. Forward slash right after that. And then just repeat that as many times as you can. That should be enough. And then uh, on the layer right below that, we're going to do sort of like an inverting arrow pattern. So first it goes like that, and then it goes like that. And just keep going. And then on the very end, period. That is to help align them a bit more. And it's not enough space to do two spaces, so I have two periods instead. Just in case you're wondering. And then forward slash, underscore, backslash, and then this, this continues. It's basically the top layer mirrored. And there you go. That's what that sign looks like. Uh, fresh without anything on it. Now, I recommend using a glow ink sack to make it stand out more. And also gray dye so it isn't like white. Because if I just do that, uh, it kind of looks white. I am personally not a fan of having the white, but I can understand why you would want it to look like that. So I'm going to change it to gray, but uh, just having it as looking white, even though it's uh, just the default black text, uh, does not look bad at all. And then I'm just going to copy that over. It's the same sign, so just copy that. All right, clear my inventory. And now moving up, some more spruce for the hair. Planks right there, you could also do oak wood, of course. Stairs like that. And then if I take slash slash one, if you have world edit, if not, you can use the debug stick. Uh, and if you don't have any of those, then just ignore this. Place any block slash slash set iron trapdoor open equals true facing equals some direction, whatever it is for you. And there we go. I'm gonna take my invisible item frame right there, right there. Can't see them, of course, but they are there. And then pig step, rotate it once right there and then rotate it seven times, I think, right there. So you get these slanted eyes. Now we're almost done. Just got a little bit more of the hair on top. And there we go. That is the entire build done. Pretty short, a bit of complicated stuff on the face. But other than that, pretty straightforward and pretty small. If you enjoyed this tutorial or found it useful in any way, I would appreciate a like subscribe and a comment letting me know uh, what you think of it. All right, goodbye.